On this episode of TV Made Me Do It, meet two men determined to be the best in the world. I'm Brian Jackson, and TV made me a world record breaker. I'm Bubba Blackwell, and TV made me a world record breaker. TV inspired Bubba's attempt to break Evil Knievel's last record. And what do you say we put this Harley Davidson in the air? While TV inspired Brian to, well, blow up this very big balloon. I have a dream, and that dream is to blow things up. It's harder than it looks. Can Brian huff and puff and blow his way into the record books? Can Bubba follow in the skid marks of the legendary Evil Knievel? Or will he end up getting himself killed? You guys might have did one heck of a show tonight. We invented TV. Now TV is reinventing us. Everything I do is because of you. You make me feel all right. You keep me up all night. Everything I do is because I love you. Have no fear. Don't you worry, dear. Because it's all because of you. Bubba Blackwell is turning 42 tomorrow, and while he's approaching middle age, the Harley isn't Bubba's midlife crisis. This is how Bubba makes a living. Bubba is one of the most successful motorcycle daredevils in America. Television was a huge influence on why I do what I do. The Bon Secor Alabama native has broken four world records, including jumping 14 trucks and 15 buses on a Harley Davidson. Bubba's exploits are a tribute of sorts to the childhood idol he watched on TV. TV for me was uh, real important because it gave me a chance to see the guy that I was going to emulate in my career. The guy he's referring to is Evil Knievel. Like a lot of boys in the 1970s, Bubba sat glued to his TV as the legendary daredevil set four world records, including the most bones broken. Seriously, look it up. If you were alive in uh, uh, a certain part of history, uh, Evil Knievel was one of the biggest names out there. Evil Knievel was like a cowboy. He wore a helmet instead of a cowboy hat. He rode a motorcycle instead of a horse. Whenever I would watch Evil Knievel on the weekends doing his thing, kind of kind of would uh, go out immediately afterwards on my bicycle and jump over garbage cans. I will never forget you, and I hope to come back after the game. I spent many a happy hours out back from my house, uh, riding around my bike, you know, doing evil can evil kinds of uh, kinds of things. Then I turned nine and I got over it. Bubba Blackwell didn't. Hey, this is Bill Black with 95 KSJ's Traveling Roadshow. We're at Sweat Tires. Bubba Blackwell is standing by right now. Bubba Blackwell, why are you in town today? Well, I'm turning 42, and I figured, hey, there's a good idea. I'll do a real big motorcycle jump. Well, you know what? So, all right, 42 years old, you're going to do, what, 10, 15 cars? Yeah, something like that. <laughs> Actually, Bubba will be jumping 52 stacked and crushed cars at a local speedway tomorrow. If he's successful, Bubba will have broken Knievel's only remaining record by two cars. So it's 52 on your 42nd. Well, yes, and that makes perfect that sense. Sounds like though. Alabama math to me. <laughs> <laughs> but the thing about world records, you don't have to be a daredevil to earn one. Like Bubba, Brian Jackson of Muskogee, Oklahoma, also holds a world record, and TV inspired Brian to dream of one more record attempt. I love to dream. I learned a long time ago how to control my dreams. And the other night, I'm dreaming about blowing up this weather balloon to a size of 8 feet in 42 minutes. For anyone else, that's a really weird dream. But not Brian. He holds a world record for blowing things up. I am a human air compressor. Brian can blow up a hot water bottle faster than anyone else in the world. If you think it looks easy, think again. It takes four times more pressure to blow up one of these than your average car tire. Several people had their lungs explode trying to blow these up. It's very dangerous. So not everybody can do it. It's a record Brian, or anyone else for that matter, never would have imagined had it not been for TV. I saw George Christensen on TV blowing up a hot water bottle and he broke the world record in 52.68 seconds. I realized these people have to come from somewhere. So why not one of you or one of me? Well, television has actually been uh, using the notion of record-breaking for a long time. We've had shows of Ripley's Believe It or Not. We've had shows of Guinness Books of World Records, and a lot of these things get covered on local news. What's the appeal of these things? I mean, it's, it, 
I think it's really as simple as the minute you articulate a record, you create the desire to have it broken. It took me seven years to break a world record, it takes under a minute. Seven years, 49 record attempts. That's an official Guinness World Record hot water bottle. I blew up a hot water bottle of the faster than anybody had ever done it. I don't hold a Tahlequah record. I don't hold a Muskogee record. I don't hold an Oklahoma record. I don't even hold a United States record. I hold a Guinness World Record. To me, that's amazing that you can be able to say you hold a world record. Like Bubba Blackwell, Brian isn't satisfied holding just one world record. The all-new Okie Country 101.7, continuous hit country here with Cliff. And Kate. Well, what's going on, man? Everybody uh, in town's talking about this event. We're going to, for the record, to blow up a standard meteorological balloon, a weather balloon, to a size of eight feet in 42 minutes. A gentleman from eight Indonesia. Eight feet? How much air is inside one of these? Have you calculated? I mean, how many cubic feet is that? It takes an air compressor 30 minutes to fill a weather balloon. Last year, Brian spent 42 minutes blowing up a balloon just like this and failed to reach eight feet. I'm a little nervous, you know. I put 2,661 breaths into this thing last year, and so I know what my body's fixing to go through, so I've been trying not to think about that a lot. But I will tell you this, I'm gonna give it 110%. I know that you will. In Alabama, Bubba is making preparations for his big jump. Like Brian, this record attempt is the realization of a dream. This is my one chance to kind of fulfill all the goals that I set for myself, because, uh, how can you cap a career and go on with your next project in life until you completely finish this one? Tomorrow, Bubba will have a bird's eye view of the 52 stacked cars at the end of this ramp. Can he cap his career by breaking Evil Knievel's last record? Also tomorrow, Brian will face his nemesis, an eight-foot weather balloon. This time around, will the human air compressor be victorious or the balloon? It's huge. TV made them record breakers, but could their latest record attempts break them? Ooh. TV images of the legendary Evil Knievel made Alabama native Bubba Blackwell dare to be a daredevil. He's broken all his idol's jump records, except one. You know what, if I land right here, I'm gonna bounce off of this thing. It's just gonna springboard me over to handlebars. Bubba and his chief mechanic, Van, are making last minute preparations for his record attempt. Tonight at the Deep South Speedway, can Bubba make history by jumping 52 crushed cars, breaking Knievel's last remaining record by two? Bubba will jump these cars with a Harley-Davidson XR750, the same bike his TV hero Evil Knievel used. The thing about jumping a Harley is, jumping is no problem. I promise you, you can jump this thing on anything. It's the landing that's the tough part. That's an understatement. In this July 4th, 2001 footage, Bubba almost lost his life attempting to jump 22 cars in Del Mar, California. As he accelerated toward the ramp, Poor traction robbed the bike of speed. The result was one of the most shocking crashes ever caught on tape. Bubba was placed on life support in a coma with a broken shoulder, pelvis, and hip. To this day, Bubba still undergoes regular physiotherapy. He's very fortunate that he did not die in that, in that crash. Uh, if you've seen the films, um, I think everybody's first thought was he was dead. It's uh, 12 inches long. It has 10 little screws, see them screw heads? They're lovely. There's a bar in here, and of course, there's a bar there, and all my ribs. You can see where I've had all these punctured lungs. I've had eight chest tubes. Those are always nice. Any more injuries, and next time, Bubba might not be so lucky. He does have uh, hardware inside of his body. And um, so, yeah, the injuries could be uh, many times over what they were initially if he were to receive the same type of impact. <sighs> With everything that is worth having has a cost, right? But, wow, it made for some of the greatest TV. <laughs> but their TV images Bubba's wife, Jamie, would just as soon forget. Bubba and Jamie have been married for 17 years and have a three-and-a-half-year-old, Reagan. 
The demands of family life put added pressure on Bubba's TV-inspired career. We spent 30 days in Del Mar, California in the hospital, and I don't want to do that again. There comes a time that when you are a performer, and you have all these goals set for yourself, and then you become a father, which I am, and I love my daughter so much. She's everything that means anything to me. You have to evaluate why you continue. Um, for me, it's the way I make a living and provide for my family. He's done all the records that Evil said, except he missed this one, he said, so maybe this will be the last one he goes for. <laughs> While breaking records nearly cost Bubba his life, Breaking records saved the life of Oklahoma native Brian Jackson. Today, Brian is speaking at a local school, giving purpose to a talent some might find silly. And if you guys allow your parents and your coaches and your teachers to mold you and shape you and change your direction in life, there's no telling what you guys are going to become. Brian calls himself the I Believe Guy. He incorporates his unlikely pulmonary prowess into a cautionary tale against drugs and alcohol. I share with them my personal life. When I was younger, I was involved with drugs and alcohol really bad. Uh, in fact, my arrest warrant said armed and dangerous shoot to kill if I resisted because I had no value for life. When we get a second chance, what you do with it is completely up to you. You can't blame anybody else. When I realized I could blow up 10 of these balloons at the same time, I watched this guy named George Christensen on TV. He was blowing up a hot water bottle in 52.68 seconds. And I looked at him and I thought, if I can blow up 10 of these balloons at the same time, I should be able to break that world record. In only a few hours, the I Believe guy will attempt to break a second world record. Brian hopes to blow up a weather balloon to eight feet in less than 42 minutes. I need to make sure that I have a really good kick at, for the last, last five to seven minutes that I can put as many deep breaths as fast as I can into that weather balloon. I'd really like to break it by two minutes. In Alabama, things just got a whole lot harder for Bubba Blackwell's record attempt. Can you fix this thing, you think? While performing some practice stunts, Bubba's bike blew a shock absorber. Basically sitting on a spring, it just pogos like a pogo stick. And it could be dangerous trying to jump to this because it'd be easy for it to hit and bounce over the handlebars when he landed. We broke some parts. Very concerned, very. You guys might get one heck of a show tonight. Thousands of fans are expected at the Speedway in just a few short hours. If the part can't be fixed, Bubba won't disappoint them. He'll attempt the jump without it. That's why I get paid the big bucks, I guess. So hopefully I'll make it to the other side, and if I do fall off of it, maybe I won't get hurt. But um, yeah, it's intense, and I don't want you to tell my wife about it. So mum's the word, right? But yeah, you know, I'm sure he'll fix it. If it isn't fixed, Bubba might find himself once again leaving the speedway on a stretcher. TV made Bubba Blackwell attempt to break all of Evil Knievel's world records. Tonight, thousands of fans are gathering at the Deep South Speedway to see Bubba jump 52 cars, breaking Knievel's last remaining record by two. But just hours earlier, Bubba's record attempt was seriously derailed when the shock absorber on his bike broke, putting his record attempt on a crash course. Bubba's team of mechanics are furiously attempting to resuscitate his critically injured bike. In Oklahoma, it's all systems go for Brian Jackson's record-breaking attempt to blow up a weather balloon to eight feet in less than 42 minutes. I'm nervous, but I'm ready to rock. There's no quit here. The white frame will indicate how far the human air compressor has to go. That's our goal, eight feet, 40 minutes. Brian will be cheered on by a somewhat sparse but enthusiastic crowd. The mayor's here, some local media, a school choir, oh, and some cheerleaders. They're going to come in handy. On the count of three. One, two, three. <laughs> While this looks like a lot of fun, it's actually quite dangerous. Over the next 42 minutes, Brian will be under extreme exertion. Emergency personnel are on standby. 
42 minutes is a very long time to completely use all your energy. And last November when I tried this world record, I actually went down to my knees three times getting dizzy. This guy's doing out here is very dangerous. He can go hyperventilation real quick, run out of air, and it'll be bad. At the Deep South Speedway, Van and his team have managed something of a small miracle. In only a few hours, they've rebuilt the damaged shock absorber. New oil, recharge it. It's perfect. It's going to be a great night for a jump. Nice slow rebound, I know, man. <laughs> hey, he's the one that went and did it, man. You got to get it. Oh my gosh, I'm ready to go. It's good. It's better than it was. Yeah. a lot. You know, I'm a little bit nervous right now, but when I make it, that's what it's about. What I don't really like to do is think about my little girl because she means so much to me, and I hope that the day comes when she realizes, or at least she doesn't resent me for taking these kind of risks. Um, I'm more nervous than excited, I guess. I'm ready to get it over with, too. Tomorrow will be a better day. <laughs> I make this look good. <laughs> I think part of the charge of seeing these daredevil things is that they may not work, and we may see history in the making as the crash happens. Part of what makes it exciting is the idea that they may not, and in failing to do it, may in fact uh, um, uh, you know, enter the very heart of darkness itself, may die in the process. See y'all in a little while. Thanks, guys. Thanks for coming. Bubba has seen the heart of darkness before. Can he put it behind him and break his final record? And what do you say? We put this Harley Davidson in the air! Here we go! In Oklahoma, with every breath, Ryan is one step closer to his dream. But after 20 minutes, the balloon is nowhere near eight feet. Are Brian's goals a little overinflated? TV made them record breakers. Can Bubba and Brian make the record books again? Just after 10 p.m. at the Deep South Speedway, Bubba Blackwell is warming up the crowd. TV made Bubba break four world records, and tonight he hopes to add number five. Just a few moments ago, in that trailer, a lot of concern about Bubba Blackwell riding that Harley Davidson with a shock that had been repaired over the day. Now the moment of truth is rapidly approaching. approaching. Here we go. It's time for the American Daredevil, Bubba Blackwell. Bubba's quest is about to start. Come on, Brian Jackson's is nearing an end. Come on, Brian, come on, stay with it. As the clock ticks down to zero, the air is rapidly let out of Brian's dream of a second world record. While he blew for 42 minutes, Brian was still about two feet away from the record. I gave it my best shot. Yeah. Oh. You know, uh, I don't make any excuses. All I can do is try. And that's all any of us can do. It's decision time at the Deep South Speedway. The next few seconds will see a new world record or several weeks in a hospital, or worse. Bubba aborts at the last second. I focus right on the very tip top of the takeoff ramp. At that point, there's nothing else I can do. I'm hoping I land in that sweet spot. So, one shot, here you go.
second birthday. Yeah, I mean, I think breaking any record is somewhere in the equation of why you want to do it is the notion of immortality or is simply the notion of being the best at something. In a world of six billion people, that is a heady concept that of all the people on this entire planet, in this particular category of human endeavor, I have reached the very top. If you simply want to exist in life and watch it go by on television, great man, I hope you live a long, long life. Like I said, man, I don't want to live to be a million years old. I want to live to be a good old man and I uh, hope to turn in my body completely wore out and used up. Yeah, you did good. I did good? All right. As for Brian Jackson, where there's something to inflate, he'll be there with a powerful set of lungs and a dream. Oh, no, it doesn't discourage me because I at least tried. But it's definitely an option to try it again. But if you're willing to do what it takes to get you there, you might be surprised what you achieve. TV so remember, as tempted as you might be, never try this at home. Or this. And watch TV. I make this look good. <laughs>